All right, let's move on to our next guest. And the gentleman is that's going to be joining us is Howard Lindsay. He is the founder and CEO of DNA Golf. And, Howard, thanks so much for joining us on Speaking of Golf. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, I got a couple questions for you, Howard. Let's just get right to it. And uh, who are you guys, and where did you come from? I know that's kind of vague, but I want to let everybody kind of set that up. Well, I, I've been in the sports equipment business for over 15 years, and my parent company has been the Intel Inside type provider of technology to players like Louisville Slugger and Wilson and Rawlings and Scott USA. And if it has something to do with sports equipment, we've done it. We also own the Hybrix line of uh, golf shafts, which Padre Carrington has used to win a few British Opens and a PGA, and Tom Lehman has used on tour. And if you follow John Daly's show, he's currently using them. So mm-hmm. we've been very active in the golf industry for many, many years. And a few years ago, BMW asked us if we could design a golf driver worthy of their ultimate driving machine. And that has morphed into DNA Golf. So the background of it, we're a technology company, and the, the golf driver actually has quite a heritage that's actually started with a BMW challenge. It's so amazing, Howard, that you know, you're know you a technology company, yet you're designing golf clubs. And that just gives... Uh, the listeners and us a little hint on where golf has come from going back in the, you know, in the fifties and sixties and, and just where we, where we are now. I mean, it's, it's, everything's technology. Well, I, I think that's true. I'm a, I'm an aerospace engineer by training I spent the first part of my engineering career in the missile industry. So I think uh, the science of sports equipment, making things uh, at the Viatech level, we talk about making things lighter and stiffer and stronger. And it's actually more demanding than making a stealth aircraft make a bicycle that uh, weighs 14 pounds and can sustain the loads and, and durability requirements of a modern elite athlete. So, so if I were to say, you know, yes, you design a driver, what you're actually selling is technology. Well, we are in this case, but what we actually sell at the DNA golf level is a driver. And the driver is a radically different driver, both in how it's constructed and made and how it's distributed. Okay, what, what is different about your driver? Well, the tagline for DNA Golf is changing the face of golf, and it actually has two meanings. The first is a literal meaning. We literally have a patent on on detachable face hollow clubs that allows us to take the face of the driver off and interchange it with a thinner face such that players at lower swing speed can hit the ball a little further. So the first level is we literally change the face of golf, and the website actually shows the illustration, dnagolf.com, how that's done. The second meaning of changing the face of golf is our distribution model is done through primarily corporate partners. But there's another series of patents where we actually integrate someone else's logo on the crown of the club so that instead of it being a conventional TaylorMade or Callaway club, it's a BMW club. Or we've just announced that we're the driver of the NBA, so all the NBA teams and military logos, so the actual presence in the branding position on the club is your corporation or your sports team or your college or your military association. So it's a little different branding-wise, too. Well, I see that. And, and I mean, it's so good for people who, you know, have corporations and, you know, golf tournaments are a great way uh, for fundraising and to use DNA golf to, you know, like you say, to brand golf clubs and, and your driver. I mean, that's just the timing could not be perfect, in my opinion. Well, we're having a lot of fun with it. We're uh, we're only been doing it now for about six months, so uh, <clears throat> we're uh, we're picking up customers left and right, and we do very small minimums, so a corporate customer can come to us for as few as ten units um, and get their logo integrated on the golf club for a special event. We're talking with Howard Lindsay. He's the founder and CEO of DNA Golf. And uh, Howard, let me ask you this: Today, it's it's the technology once again is so. Uh, you know, prevalent in what we do and, and things like that. Club fitting is a major factor of people getting into their clubs. Do you fit your drivers personally to the prospective uh, buyer, golfer? We do. So our distribution model starts with the custom fitter network. So the uh, the people like Cool Clubs here in the Arizona market, uh, Fusion Golf in Florida and New York, we, we actually don't have a custom fitter set up yet in Carolinas. But the distribution model is that you can either buy it direct and then get it adjusted at a fitting location or literally go right into a custom fitter. And at the corporate level, we deal with ASI and PPSI-type distributors so that companies that are actually geared to a promotional products industry, and we're announcing next week, which is actually this will be the first time we've actually made it public on your show, 
that we're going with a distribution model called DNA Direct. And it essentially will allow one of your listeners, for an example, could become an associate distributor. And if he has any fitting acumen, he can literally do the fitting himself. And if he doesn't have the fitting acumen, he can literally steer it to a local fitter in our market here in Phoenix. It's uh, Cool Clubs. Oh, that's exciting. And and thank you so much for announcing it on Speaking of Golf. Uh, let me ask you this, Howard. It, since there's no... Uh, in the Carolinas as of yet having anything set up here, can somebody go through DNA Direct and be able to still fit their club to their specs? They can. We've got a fitting system where we've got a series of PGA professionals on staff that can that can get you 99% there through your ball speed, through your how far you hit your existing driver right now, where your flights are, and if you're fortunate enough to know your launch and spin rates, that's even better. Um, so we can do a fitting over the phone. Ideally, nothing replaces actually flying golf balls on a range, but sure. we do the best we can. And, and the fitting network is kind of a tuning mechanism. And the NBA portion of it allows us to also have people where when we sell drivers to an NBA or a charity, that they'll go to that local fitter to get adjusted or get it exchanged and tuned. And that's part of our strategy. Oh, I think that's terrific. And, and especially, the, you know, not only being able to get the club fit properly for each individual player, uh, now... Um, and th- and that reminds me. Do you also are you making at this point women's clubs as well? We do. We have a 12 degree driver. We don't distinguish between men's and women's. We have a lighter club because there is a weight adjustment port. Okay. And we do have a uh, a 12 degree driver is the highest lofted driver that we have, which tends to fit more women than men. But the key to our detachable face is, is that we have swing speeds. We have driver faces that are rated all the way down to 60 miles an hour which the harsh reality is is that because of the USGA position on core or CT testing, all the drivers on planet Earth that are USGA legal have a, a certain thickness face so that they don't exceed the USGA characteristic time limit. We have that face, and every driver that, that delivers from our factory has got a USGA legal face, but you can also then, through the same custom fitter network, buy a face that allows you to go beyond that limit if you you know, don't want to play a USGA conforming driver. I see. Does DNA Golf also offer at this time other clubs in the bag, or do you just focus on drivers? We do not. We're a driver company, and we've decided to focus on that segment. It's where our RP and our technology is different. Uh, it's where we can offer consumers the best bang for the buck, and uh, that, that's a, that's the focus at this point. Uh, I think that's that's good. I mean, you specialize in what you do best, and, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Um, let me for for our listeners that are are listening to the show today, Howard. You were talking about how the face is interchangeable. Explain that how that works. Well, there's six small screws. They're literally a torque limiting screw. It's a a special uh, shoulder screw that's a stainless steel screw that comes off. And like the old uh, inserts that used to be done, the, the face literally a titanium plate is removed from the club, and you see the hollow interior cavity of the club. Mm-hmm. And there's a small elastomer gasket behind there that is actually tunable for acoustic profiles. So an additional feature of the club is to tune it from the very loud, noisy, kind of modern hollow driver to the more solid thud of the old persimmon clubs. And the gasket behind the face actually helps do that. But the face literally comes off with six small screws, and a replacement face goes back on, and you can't put it on any other way. It only goes on one way. So... uh, Anybody that can operate a screwdriver can uh, replace the face. i got to tell you, Howard, I kind of miss the days of the old sound of the persimmon driver. I don't, because I <laughs> still have one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let our, our listeners know, know where they can go for more information and to possibly buy one of your clubs. Outstanding. Well, dnagolf.com um, has all of the information and the contact information. Um, the direct phone number is 480 240 6004. And if anybody's interested in the distribution model of actually becoming an associate distributor, that's the best way to get because that's just going public now. And for more information, I know it, uh, you guys are not YouTubers, but obviously in the world of what's going on, there's some wonderful little YouTube videos out there on us right now under DNA Golf. And uh, that should give you some background, too. Well, it's it's certainly, uh, I love the technology. Like I say, I do miss the persimmon sound, but I love modern-day technology for my golf game. But I think what you got here is a real winner, and uh, we'll be keeping, uh, you know, up with you on, who knows, maybe we'll uh, get somebody here in North Carolina to represent DNA Golf. If uh, somebody's listening that uh, would like to do that, we'd love to hear from them. All right. Well, Howard Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us on the show, and uh, we appreciate all that information about DNA Golf. Thank you, folks. Have a good day. All right. Take care.
lots of good stuff there. The technology is just it's pretty amazing. terrific. I mean, to be able to, you know, and it's so easy to take the face of the club, you know, and, and exchange that. But just, I, I like that they're just focusing on drivers. You know, they don't try, they're not trying to expand. This is what they do best. And um, I don't know, it's pretty neat. Maybe we should uh, invest in that. Let's just go to break right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to talk about it anymore? Oh, come on. All right, let's take a short pause here on Speaking of Golf. When we come back, we're going to be looking down on things. What does Ooh, that mean? That's pretty clever. All right, stay with us.